Now, uh, it's a very interesting thing that a man by the name of Vanderbilt, who had a sloop in the lower bay, he made his money transporting people and, and goods. He eventually uh, had this service between New York and Piermont. He would come up with his boats and get the passengers and then take them back to New York. Now that, that was Commodore Vanderbilt, and that was the, the, the basis of the money that the, the important Vanderbilt family had. As a matter of fact, he is a relative of ours. He was a very uh, poor man. He was uncouth. He wore poor clothes, and he cursed a lot, smelled a lot, so forth and so on. He used to come up to Nyack here and visit my mother's family. She remembers that uh, his language was so hard, her parents would uh, have them go outside to play so that they wouldn't hear this conversation. And they also uh, had sh shoes uh, that he, where he would take off his, his river boots and put on shoes that, so that the, the house wouldn't be so-called messed up. Now that was Commodore Vanderbilt, who eventually became the wealthiest man in the United States founded the great family, uh, the Vanderbilt family, that, uh, whose wealth exists today. But then he was very poor, and uh, he made his money with a sloop, taking the passengers from the Erie Railroad to New York and bringing the passengers from New York to Piermont for the trip to the West.